Hi guys, I'm starting off the vlog today with a little clothing haul for you guys. I just had a bunch of packages get delivered in the past couple of days, so I thought that I would open them up and show you what I got. So welcome to this week's vlog. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so the first thing that I have to show you guys is this pair of leggings that I got from American Eagle. And it's just a light pink pair of leggings. And I really like them because, first of all, I love this color. And I'm also excited because during quarantine, I really like to wear leggings and sweatpants and biker shorts and just more comfortable athleisure apparel. They were on sale, so I'm not sure if they're still going to be in stock on the website, but if they are, I'll link them down below. And if they're not, then I'll try to find something similar on the American Eagle website and link that down below for you guys. Next, I have a couple of pieces that I got from 1001 Collections. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I am a huge fan of this boutique. If you don't follow me on Instagram, here's my handle. The first thing that I have from there is this blue t-shirt. The other item that I got from there is this jacket. And it has this really cool detailing on it all over the jacket. And I just think that that's a really unique touch and it makes the jacket even more awesome. 1001 Collections, you can follow them on Instagram. I will put their Instagram down below, but also they just recently launched their website. So I'm also going to put their website right here on the screen and I'm going to link their website down below. You should definitely go and check out their pieces. They have really cool designer stuff but they make sure that it's affordable pricing. The next item I have is this super comfortable light pink t-shirt. I actually bought it as a part of a donation campaign for the Cameron Boyce Foundation. So I will link the t-shirt down below and I will also link the foundation's Instagram so that you can get some more information about their mission. I ordered the t-shirt in a size medium because I wanted it to be oversized and then I paired it with a pair of biker shorts when I wore it and it was perfect because it was the perfect length to wear with biker shorts. So I would recommend ordering it a size up. The t-shirt also comes in a few other colors. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, so Avisa decided to join me for the rest of this clothing haul, so she's just gonna react to the stuff that I ordered. Um, this next package is from Misguided. I ordered a couple of things from here because they were recently having a big sale, and I also got an additional discount for being a student. So I'm going to link all of these pieces down below. I hope that the sale is still going on so that you can get them at the same affordable prices that I got them for. A pair of sweatpants, lavender sweatpants, and it says misguided on it. Cause like I know in the past I've bought sweatpants that on the outside are cute, but on the inside it wasn't like a soft texture. So I really, ooh, these feel soft. They're like a nice furry, feel inside of them, which is good. The next thing that I ordered from Misguided was a face mask. It is white and it has a butterfly on it. I really like butterflies, so I decided to order one with a butterfly on it. But they had like a couple of options of different patterns for the face mask. Set that comes with a t-shirt and matching biker shorts. I thought that that was really cool of them to do because I'm super into wearing oversized t-shirts and biker shorts during this quarantine, as I'm sure a lot of you are also. So this is the oversized black t-shirt, and then it comes with the matching black biker shorts. Okay, so the next item that I got is a custom-made anklet from an Etsy shop called Caitlin Minimalist. I have been shopping from this Etsy shop for about three years now. I really like the jewelry that they make. It's really affordable for jewelry and it's custom made so you can design it yourself. And I have in the past gotten some rings and some necklaces from her 
but this time I decided to get an anklet. I'm gonna tag both her Etsy shop in general and the link to where I got this anklet from on her page so that you can just have a direct link to it. This is what the face mask pattern looks like. It's the classic Alice and Olivia pattern, but on a face mask. How cute is this? Okay guys, so here's my outfit of the day. My top is from the gift shop at the end of the Warner Brothers studio tour in Burbank. So if you happen to be going there at some point in the future, you can pick up this t-shirt from there. If not, I'm going to link some online stores that are selling similar styles to this t-shirt. And then these cute biker shorts are from Lululemon and I will also have those linked down below for you guys. They come in a bunch of colors, but I thought that this pinky orange color was super cute, so that's the color that I chose. Hey guys, so th for this summer, I've been trying to get into trying new things with my makeup routine, with my hair, with my clothes, like I'm trying new brands, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the new things that I've been trying. So the first new thing that I've been trying is I just ran out of setting powder and I heard of this brand called Beauty Bakery which I have heard of a few times and I've been wanting to try because their packaging, this is their mini setting powder, their packaging looks like baking supplies. Like their setting powder looks like flour and their setting spray looks like Pan spray, which you would spray to grease your pan. Another thing that I've been trying is Functions of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. You guys may have seen their ads on Instagram or Facebook, and what Functions of Beauty does is they custom make shampoo and conditioner to fit your hair. And I decided to try their shampoo because before, I used to have some blonde in my hair. Insert picture here. I used to get some recolors done which made my hair really dry and the blonde shampoo that I used didn't help. After I dyed my hair black, I got some shampoo and conditioner from them and I love it. I feel like my hair has gone so much smoother and silkier than when I had been using the blonde shampoo, but the blonde shampoo that I used did help keep my hair blonde and reduce brassiness. So my Functions of Beauty shampoo is right here. And the blonde shampoo that I recommend for people who are dyeing their hair blonde, but warning, it does dry your hair a little bit, but that blonde shampoo is right here. I would totally recommend Functions of Beauty for rehydrating your hair if your hair is very dry and coarse, because mine was and it used to just not be as smooth to the touch, but after I got Functions of Beauty, it feels a lot better. Now, for my favorite thing that I got for myself, I got myself a Cricut Maker. One of the things that I've been doing with this Cricut Maker is I have started something called the Bella Vista Project, and I'll link the Instagram down below. What the Bella Vista project is, is for a minimum donation of $10, I will custom make a color changing tumbler just for you. All the money made is going towards the nonprofit Moms Against Poverty. I will link their website down below, check them out. I've been enjoying staying at home and making cups, but if you would like a cup for you, comment down below and also check out the Bella Vista Project Instagram page which will be linked down below and the link in that bio is a form for you to submit for me to make your cup and to ship it to you. So tell them what you told us today about the dishwasher. So I wanted to know if my kids knew how long it takes for the dishwasher to run. I do. So the test question was, I'm gonna drive to the office and come back. Will I be back before the dishwasher is done? And I went to the office and I came back and I want evidence that when I came back, there was still time on the dishwasher and it got done after I got home. He's home now and it just recently turned zero. That next week's question is gonna be, how long does the washer and dryer take? That's a little bit more complicated because it depends on the washer and dryer. But if you wanna test and know if your kids do laundry, 
ask them questions about the timers on the dishwasher, on the washer, and on the dryer. Because, oh, by the way, washer and dryer have different times, and the kids don't know that, then they definitely aren't doing laundry. Started getting addicted to the pineapple, the iced pineapple matcha drink from Starbucks. It's very good. I totally recommend it if you want to try something new. We stumbled upon the apple section, and in my family, we only one kind of apple, and that is Honeycrisp apples. That why? Because for all of you who don't know out there, there's over 26,000 varieties of apples in the U.S. And everybody thinks apple is apple, but that's not true. As you can tell, Honey Crisp has a better taste to it. So, Ariana doesn't know what our footage is yet because we just took the camera and went on a drive because she's at home doing homework right now because, you know, hashtag summer class. She wants to minor in journalism, but she took a summer minor, which means she's basically in school from home over the summer. But anyway, so back to my point. She doesn't know what our footage looks like and i'm just waiting for her to edit this and just be like why did i give them the camera random thoughts random thoughts but now we're at target 